Hello guys, it's me again, Take That Screw Out. If you haven't subscribed on this channel, please consider subscribing and click that thumbs up icon and notification bell so if there's a new video coming out, you'll be the first one to be notified. And check the description down below for the equipment and tools I use in this video, which is available to purchase in Amazon.com in United States and Amazon.co.uk in United Kingdom. On this video, it shows step by step on how to repaste, how to change the thermal pads, the thickness of the thermal pads, and how to replace and clean the cooling fans if just in case if it is broken or you need to replace it. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. If you want to access the fan to replace it, or you just want to clean the fan or to clean the heatsink, all you're going to unscrew is six screw. One, two, three, four four five and six there's a tiny screw that holds this metal front fascia you don't need to unscrew this one this six screw here so you don't need to touch that one the screwdriver that i'm using is the electric screwdriver is the wow stick and the screw bits size is the phillips screw 3h1 and i have this phillips screw as well it's quick equivalent to 3h1 Okay, to lift the front shroud. To remove the fan, you have to unscrew three screw on each fan. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And now you can detach the fan. And the fan connector is here on the side. So you have to carefully remove this one. Make sure it will not gonna break. To remove the fan connector, I have this special tool which is really good for removing this plastic connector because it holds the connector properly. I put the link on this one in the description below. And this connector here is for the LED lights for the front shroud. So you have to remove that one as well using a tweezer. So now you can lift up the front shroud. Okay, so the second option, if you want to change the thermal pads 
or repaste. You don't need to remove the fan and ask, um, unscrew the front screw, six screw. All you're going to do is only at the back. So you have to unscrew 14 screw. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is for the option of just to change the thermal paste and repaste. So pay attention with the screw because there's two different sizes of the screw. The smaller screw goes into this metal back plate. So this is the difference between these two different screw. The smaller screw has a, it's a long screw and the bigger head screw has a spring on it. So the smaller screw will goes to this hole with a metal ring and the bigger screw head with a spring will goes here direct to the PCB. So now all the screw has been removed, detach the heatsink from the PCB. So you have to disconnect this wire, this black wire here that connects to this light. So for the thermal pads thickness, So the thermal pads, this area here, this one, the VRAM pads, and this one here are all 1.5 millimeter. And this, this is a small area that it uses the thick pads. So the thick pads is about 3.5 millimeter. But this one, you don't need to worry about this too, the 3.5 millimeter. All you're going to change is the 1.5 millimeter in this area this one here they are the most important spot okay to separate the the back plate from the pcb you have to unscrew five screw one two three four five Now you can detach the back plate but when you when you detach the back plate from the PCB you have to be careful because there's a there's a wire connector that's attached from the back plate to the connector of the PCB that wire is the one is connected to this light for the logo so you have to remove that one as well using the tweezer there you go that's it so when cleaning the heatsink and the PCB, the tools that I use is 
I recommend the X Power 500 watt air blower. I just put the link in the description below if you interested to buy one. And then just a paintbrush. If you change the thermal pads, you make sure you have to rub it nicely to clean all the residue stick in the chips so that you can have a good contact. What I'm planning I'm going to do is rub this one down, then rub it with the isopropyl alcohol. This is time consuming process but it's worth it to do it. So here's the part number of the fan. This two big fan is identical, same part number. And the third one, the middle one is a quite small one, so it's different part number. These two, one big and one small, is linked together in one connector and the other big one can be separate. If you notice some of the fins already touching each other so you have to spread it using tweezer
Okay, it's time to put it back together. The first thing to do is to attach the PCB to the backplate. But first, you have to connect the connector at the back. This one. So it goes back here. And make sure the five screw hole is aligned correctly before you screw in. When you put the screw in, make sure it will not be over tightened. Just snug fit. Plastic could easily break. Put it back the fan. When put it back the fan is a bit tricky. You have to align the screw hole first. Make sure it's sitting properly.
Don't forget when you scroll in, just snug and fit, not over tighten. Otherwise, it could damage the plastic. Okay, the, the thermal paste I'm going to use on this video is an Arctic MX4 and I also have a recommendation which is a really good thermal paste the SYY thermal paste or the Noctowa into H2 By the way, when cleaning with the residue of the PCB and the heatsink, use a 99.9% isopropyl alcohol. Don't use the 70%. When put it back the heat sink and the front shroud, make sure before you screw it in, make sure this wire at the side, this two wire, one each side, this one and this one is popping out. Okay, you have to test the fan, you have to make sure it doesn't catch this. So it's clear. So last one, you have to attach the heat sink and the PCB. But before you do that, you need to connect these two connector. The black one first, then the white one. The other connector on the side, this one, the connector for the fan, you have to do that later when it's already attached. So what I'm going to do is to connect the black connector. Disconnect the light here on this um, light here on the other end, this plastic bit. So you have to connect that one first. And then next is this one. This is also for the lights on this strip here, white strip. So this goes here.
Then lastly, you have to connect this wire for the fan connector. So that's the end of the video. If you find this video helpful, please like and share the video and then subscribe as well. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.